I actually am now a big proponent for Planned Parenthood. That is true. I've been working with Planned Parenthood. But not for the reasons you guys think. Don't get me wrong. All right, hear me out first, right? As a comment, you ask to do a lot of charity things. And usually I don't ask what it is because I don't really give a shit. But I'm not saying I don't give a shit, but it's like somebody's like some kid with cancer and they'll start telling you about it. It's like, I don't want to feel all these feelings. I'll do your charity. I don't want to just, <laughs> you know, it's a kid diet. I'm just, I'll tell you some jokes for you. I don't give a shit. <laughs> But then I started asking, because I did this one one time, it was uh, for some like starving kids in Africa charity. And it wasn't supposed to be comedy really, it was like levity, I'm hosting this event. And uh, I go there, and they start this show right, and they start play this video real quick, and at first it's like, this kid in Africa, this village, this little African village child, and he's at a well, and he's like, he's uh, pumping this well, and real oh god, boy am I hungry. And then they cut it in with like, like, well, these white ladies in the West and they're at bake sales and like, all right, getting things together. And he's still pumping. Oh, hooey. This is not very nice. And then they're back, a little more brownies and cookies and they're in little, like, little games and shit and collecting money. And then all of a sudden that well goes, Pow! and like a rainbow comes out and everybody in the village has water and they have rice and they're doing dances and shit. So I was in the back room and I just start busting out laughing because it's the stupidest shit. <laughs> the most culturally insensitive bullshit I've ever seen. And then I notice I'm the only one in the room laughing. Because that was an event to release this video, correct? Uh, so it was a long two hours, folks, so I'm trying to say so. So the reason I've been asking, like, what's this charity about? And this friend called me, he's like, we're going to charity of Planned Parenthood in Cleveland. I was like, the charity mean I'm not getting paid? And then she's like, well, yeah, but it's for a good cause. I was like, I'm not going to go do your abortion charity. If I don't ah! Drive five hours for an abortion charity. And she's like, what you giant ass motherfucker? She, she talks like a 70s black man. She's a little white lady, but she's racist. But she's hot, so I let it go. She's like, giant ass turkey? That ain't about no goddamn abortion charity. I was like, I know what goes on in Planned Parenthood. I've heard all the stories. I don't she's like, you don't know shit. I was like, it wasn't fucking like abortion place, just fucking, like, it's not like, it's like Fruit Ninja with fetuses and scalpels, I don't fucking, you know, you tell me what's like going on there, it's a disgusting place. He's like, no, it's a, it's a place where women, like a woman's hospital, a woman's, I was like, oh, a segregated hospital? Nice. That's what we need. Do Is there a men's hospital? No. Oh, my wife gets more than half the shit just for no fucking reason, now she gets her own hospital? Nice, I'm not doing that charity either. It's like, women have different health needs. I was like, oh yeah, they're needy? Yeah, I understand that. Women need you. But if I got emotions and feelings, I'm an asshole, right? Okay, but oh, you feel about this, about this? Okay, I gotta listen to you about that. She's like, it's like our vaginological, said some kind of word like that, like something about vagin. I like, I don't know what that shit means. She's like, our vaginas. Like, you guys will get our vaginas clean, checked out, make sure. <laughs> Not to mention that abortion has been made legal since 1972, I don't know what you guys told I was like, but I stopped listening to Vagina. So she's talking about this shit, and I was like, oh, so right, so apparently, there are these places that women get their business checked out, and we're cutting the funding for it, and I'm not with that. <laughs> Ohio's closing all these places, and if I'm for one thing, that's clean vaginas. <laughs> I'm saying, I would like Ohio to be known as the cleanest vagina state. <laughs> like, you been to Ohio, the vaginas, Fantastic! Spotless! Not a bad vagina in the place. Nice. Yeah, that's why all my tax dollars are going. I don't need more bonds, but I often think to myself, boy, I hope this vagina's clean. That's what I think. That's what my priorities are. I mean, don't get me wrong, I still don't think women should be in charge of it, because they're too emotional to be handled by <laughs> If we're going to regulate it, guys, let's regulate it for the right reasons. 